Hi, it's the MLM for the Soul Channel. I do have a new topic for today. Before I begin, I just would like to say, may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And some people I thank have inspired me. Hope they can inspire you as well. I will have links below this week to the sites of Rabbi Shalom Arash, Rabbi Lazar Brody, Rabbi Yosef Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansur, Rabbi Lon Anaba, Rabbi Yuval Ovadi, Rabbi Daniel Asher, Nisan Baruch Black, David Sachs, Rabbi Michael Skobek, Jews for Judaism, and Rabbi David Ashir, and Rabbi Yaron Rubain as well. If you've never checked out this channel before, I will have a link below to my first video, which explains what MLM for this all means, what it stands for, and what I'm doing. So today is um, another uh, Parsha Insights, uh, weekly Parsha Insights with Rabbi Eli Mansur, and this is for the upcoming Parsha Kedoshim. And I call this Be Different and Distinct. So Parsha Kedoshim begins with command, Kedoshim to you, requiring us to strive for Kedusha, holiness. What exactly does holiness mean and how are we to go about pursuing it? When a couple get, gets married, the groom says to the bride, Hare at Mikudeshet Li, declaring that she is Mikudeshet. This does not mean that she is, quote, holy or spiritual because she is marrying him. Rather, it means that she is set apart and dis designated exclusively for him. Likewise, when a person would consecrate an animal as a sacrifice in the times of the Beit HaMegash, he would declare the animal as, quote, Hekdesh. He set this animal apart from other animals in the world, making it different and distinct. Kadosh essentially means different. When the Torah commands us to be holy, it means that we are to be different and distinct from other people in the world. We must live on a higher standard with a different set of principles and priorities. The nature and direction of our lives must be fundamentally different from that of other people. Before Hashem presented the laws of this parasha to Paro, he in, uh, to Paro, excuse me, <laughs> slip, slip of the lip, I said parasha, parasha to Moshe, he instructed that they must be spoken to Kol Adat Bene Yisrael, the entire nation, whereas other mitzvot of the Torah were first transmitted to the leaders, who then taught them to the rest of the nation. These laws were presented as an assembly of all Bene Yisrael. The reason perhaps is because holiness can only be pursued in a large group, together with other people. Kedusha, as was explained, as we explained, means being different and separate, going against the tide in conventional modes of behavior. It is very difficult for individuals to swim against the tide. We are all influenced by the society around us and easily fall prey to the pressure and intimidation of majority. Very few people are able to resist this pressure alone. The best chance we have of achieving Kedusha, of being able to remain distinct and go against the tide is in a group, working together with like-minded people. The mitzvah of Kedoshim Tiyu was issued at a national assembly because only when the nation worked together, works together excuse me, can Kedusha be achieved. This is especially true nowadays when the de decadent base culture of the general society is so pervasive, unfortunately. Rahman al <laughs> Wherever we go, we find ourselves bombarded by the culture and values of the general society, which are di diametrically opposed to those of the Torah. In order to resist this pressure, we need to, the support of our peers. And for this reason, it is crucial for everyone to find a framework, such as a regular Torah class, in which he or she is surrounded by others who seek Kedusha, who wish to be different from the society around, who wish to be different from the society around us. We cannot go about this ambitious endeavor alone. We need the strength and support of a group working together to resist the tide. Only if we work together as a group can we succeed in our attempt to achieve true holiness and conduct our lives on a higher moral standard so that we are worthy of a meaningful relationship with our Creator. And as well, there are also, of course, online things that you could do um, if you're not in a place where you connect with the people because you're kind of doing things differently. There's CDs, and the, 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 the rabbis I mentioned, a lot of them have CDs and websites and things you could do, and you know you can connect with groups online too. So that might be an option as well um, because everyone is you know, they, their levels are different, so you might want to see what works for you. But yes, this is very important that we, that we are, be, be different and distinct and always remain that way because we're supposed to be. Um, we're not supposed to blend in with society because that's not who we are. We're supposed to be distinct and different. That's what Hashem told us because we're holy. And I hope and pray that we will all merit to live and see the coming of Mashiach, speedily in our days and rebuilding of our final and everlasting Beit HaMikdash. Amen and thanks for watching.